Hi, Dave Sobel here from the Business of Tech podcast. This week, another question from a Patreon supporter. MSP Radio is supported by Patreons who get to directly offer questions and vote on the topics to be covered. If you're interested, check out patreon.com slash MSP Radio on how you can support independent analysis of the technology services space. The question, how to best play MSP Tetris. How do you get vendors to understand how all of their tools fit together? The challenge is trying to understand how all these potential tools will interact and overlap. Patreon found that most vendors struggle when asked how their product fits with others in a comprehensive security stack. They focus on what they do, but not in context. The Patreon ended up mapping all of their current solutions to the NIST cybersecurity framework, and that provided clarity to spot gaps. But that was a lot of work to put together. If vendors help to map their solutions to NIST CSF at the outset, it would make the assessment of solutions much, much easier. So how do we map these tools, and can we get vendors to contribute to that work? I'm actually going to give you four answers. What a bargain. My first impulse after years of being a vendor is to say that this is actually your opportunity. Most of these vendors simply will never do what you're asking for. And so this is the value you bring to customers. It's even on the tin, right? If you're a solution provider, your value is in building the solution. If you're an interior designer, you're the one who thinks about couches, chairs, art, and you bring them all together to make a coherent whole. You don't ask the couch designer how their couch fits in with the paint or how the bookcase manufacturer should work with the drywall company. So don't devalue yourself in the equation by having the vendors be the answer. They aren't, and your skill and expertise is combining technical solutions, particularly in new and inventive ways, and it's of tremendous value. More evidence of that. There is reasons that the vendors buy up other vendors to fit into their portfolio. A key reason is that combining solutions does unlock more value. Of course, inherent in that last statement is the fact that technology has integration points that an interior designer doesn't have to think about. Technology does have to work together, much like Lego bricks connecting and combining. Defining those edges is important. That's where we get into more than one answer territory. I asked Joy Bayland, who spent the last three years working on frameworks for the MSP community on the vendor side after owning a provider, her take on vendors coming together. I do think that the vendor community is going to do very well in assisting the MSPs to build out their solution stack. Now I say that with a caveat. The vendor community um, really consists of different levels of, of vendors with different interests as in any industry, right? So the vendors that are aligning with other vendors, partnering and specifically even with direct competitors to make sure that the best practices, the guidance that they bring to the MSPs is vendor agnostic, is the most practical and is not just with the bias of we want to sell you something. Those are the vendors to watch and to really align with. And there's a lot of great ones out there. She's right. Vendors that add value by coming together and remove themselves from the equation are the ones who are thinking the way you are. They're thinking about how their solutions fit together. Her lens is a solid evaluation criteria too. My last two answers are already embedded in your question. You asked how to get vendors to understand how all of their tools fit together. I didn't include the second half of Joy's answer in which she points to how MSPs can look to one another for that experience, specifically in peer groups. She's right, and that's how most providers do find their answers. Just like the discussions we've had on regulation, and see my video and podcast on that if you haven't watched it, providers have a lot more power than they might think. If you're a provider who brings together solutions delivered from vendors and often through distribution, you're the end point. In a historical view, you used to be just the retail point for the transaction. That's no longer the case as you're delivering the solution under your brand, and so you are the face of the relationship and you own the last mile. So leverage your position. 
If you want vendors to jump through a hoop to win your business, make them. Joy is right about peer groups, and I'd add that instead of talking about leveraging these as communities, your trade associations, your distributor, your peer groups, you can insist these vendors start providing this level of guidance. If the community demands they map to a framework, and I'm thinking in the US specifically around that NIST cybersecurity framework, but this would apply to any market, vendors can stand out and gain some competitive advantage right now by specifically citing which portions of the framework they map to and making that very apparent. Think of it like the works with logos on consumer products. But most boldly, and my fourth answer, the community could do this work on its own. Consider an open source approach. Pulling together publicly is quite powerful. The question includes that the organization did the work to map the NIST CSF framework. If you release that to the community, you could start collaborating on the implementation. If you're worried about giving away your secret sauce or intellectual property, think of open source. The value is in the ability to execute, not in simply having the intellectual property. I bet if we gave all of your work out to every competitor, most couldn't execute. By your own admission, this is a ton of work, and maintaining it will be even more work over time. Instead, create an open source style project, allowing contributors and spread the workload. You know there are a number of similar providers in the same realm, and I suspect the vendor community would want to make sure they're represented right, so they contribute as well. This last idea pulls it all together in a best of all worlds situation. This is also why I'm not a big fan of frameworks created strictly by a single vendor like ConnectWise's MSP Plus framework. I highly respect the people who put it together. I just know a vendor can't own this because that isn't how standards are created. No single vendor owning something creates a standard. There's no vendor is motivated to work with it and the work is kept locked away in that single vendor. First movers here are going to win and have significant influence. There are even several associations that might be perfect for this effort, including CompTIA or MSP Alliance. CompTIA communities could easily be a forum for this work and make this a deliverable created and managed by members. This is typically what associations do. So to recap, my four answers. First, this is your job. Assembling the parts is the value you bring. So consider how much you want vendors to do that for you. Don't be dismissive of that. Second, vendors already do this loosely, so leverage that. And those that invest here to make it clearer will stand out. Third, if you want vendors to be more transparent about their mapping to the NIST framework, demand it and organize your colleagues to do that. Finally, for a really bold innovation, make your effort open source. Lead the change. You asked for an answer, you got four. And one of them is market changing. I look forward to your continued success. Come back and tell us all about it. Thank you for your attention. If you like this content, hit that like button and please subscribe to the channel with the red button below. This really helps and it's very much appreciated. If you like this content, you can get five minutes of news and analysis every day on the Business of Tech podcast, available to subscribe on all podcatching platforms. To make it easy, visit mspradio.com and click the blue subscribe button to get your favorite platform. Finally, remember you can support the content by visiting patreon.com slash mspradio and contribute what you want. Get access to content early and contribute your question. Thanks for listening.